In this episode, we're gonna go over how you can learn how to develop and design websites in ease using this. Disclaimer, I just wanted to say, anyone that's watching this video that has technical experience in programming and languages, I do not proclaim to be an expert whatsoever. This is just my experience of my journey. Um, feel free to correct me if I've said anything wrong or give me any recommendations for languages that I should be learning and taking my coding and development to the next stage. But for beginners, this is perfect and I hope you enjoy and get some value out of it. And let's cut back to the real video. Okay, hello. Um, welcome to the back to the beta YouTube channel. And I know um, I'm on the hold on podcasts at the moment. I've got two planned that are coming up. But for now, I'm actually doing a series, which is all about developing your skills and a lot of the what I'm learning from books and things like that. So let's get straight into the video where we're going to talk about the importance and why you need to learn web design. Firstly, before I start, I started picking up web development a few months ago when I actually went into Waterstones and picked up a book called HTML and CSS Design and Build Websites by John Duckett. Now, my brother is actually a professional web developer full time, and so I obviously knew a little bit about it, but I didn't actually have any programming knowledge or experience myself. Um, and I'm gonna talk about some of the main reasons why that I wanted to actually develop this skill and particularly learn this basic programming language um, to develop my skill set. So firstly, one reason that you probably should be picking up web development and thinking about it is because it increases your employability. So even if you're not running your own startup or trying to start a company or making a website for, for your company or your personal brand, whatever you've got going on, it's actually a really good skill to have because often companies require some sort of programming language and that can get you to the higher tier pay grade. Um, so it's not just about pay though, it is good to show that you have a specific skill set and HTML and CSS is a perfect starting block for building uh, websites and obviously you have other programming languages which deal with database and analytics um, but I haven't delved that far deep yet and I will do later on so stay in tune for that and next up especially if you're venturing into the world of entrepreneurship or starting your own company startups a good reason to have a good understanding of HTML CSS and designing websites is actually to have empathy and understanding when you hire in external developers to build your product one, because you can know that actually things take longer than you expect. If you try and build a website yourself, you'll actually understand how long it takes to do just even one page or a certain feature. And so that allows you to have an understanding and, and more of a, a conversation with your developers and being a bit more flexible with them. And lastly, for why you should learn web development, well, it's the building blocks of a foundation to much more programming languages. I'm at the very ground level at the moment, trying to build my first website, not with many extensive features, any graphical kind of capabilities or analytical abilities using databases and so on. But I know that I can build something to then build off of. So learning the basics of HTML and CSS, which I'll go on to explain more about, is vital. So, HTML and CSS by John Duckett was actually the same book that my brother used when he was first getting involved in web development. Um, and it is just a really great book for beginners and something that might seem quite daunting, loading, learning coding, um, actually makes it really simple. And I've got an example page here. It's just really clear, clear simple, straightforward. The, uh, the text on the side is usually uh, talking and description about what the code is doing. And the code is just in the middle there. Probably not the best picture on camera, um, but you can see it if you get the book. Now the book has a really simple step-by-step -step process that takes you through the journey of creating your first website. So it starts off with HTML, which is basically a language that decides where different elements on a web page sit. So you have images, you have your main body of text, the navigation bar, and that's what HTML does really. It, it just tells the web browser what elements you want on the page and the content that goes within it. And next we have CSS, which is a styling language. So with CSS, and it goes hand in hand with HTML, you target specific elements that you do in your HTML code, and then you can style them. So that's things like color, the position, the font style, um, and there's a lot more. I mean, CSS goes on extensively, and I've only touched the surface with my sort of progress and development with it. And the last section in the book, um, we're on the coding side talks about HTML5, which is a newer rendition uh, of HTML, which has some extra elements in it. I won't go too far into detail on it because it's something that you have to dive more into when you're reading the book yourself. And the last bit of the book is really handy practical advice about getting your site live and actually tracking uh, your traffic to the site. So it talks about Google Analytics and how to use that to understand the user impressions, how to optimize your site and some search engine optimization stuff as well. All stuff that I'm not gonna talk about too much in this uh, video, I just wanna give you a brief description of what goes into the book and how you can use it. 
So I'm going to show you a picture now which has all the contents of the different chapters of the book so you can have a look for what you're going to uh, be expecting to, to be learning as you go along before you buy the book. Now, make sure when you're doing this, you take some time and not rush and just read through chapters. My biggest tip for when I've been learning this and I've been doing, it actually took me about two or three months to fully go through the book, though you could do it quicker, um, but I was doing it in the evenings, I had exams, so on, and I've had more time recently to finish it off. But what I would suggest is when you go through each chapter, make sure that you actually coming up with your own examples. It provides you example code so you can copy that, but tailor in your own text. Let's say you have a project in mind that you want to do, I don't know, you wanna make a blog website uh, about your personal brand, then have that as a project in mind and build towards it. And then with the knowledge you gain, put these, the, the knowledge you have gained and put that into practice with the, with the code you've learned and really execute on something as you go along because that's how it's gonna imprint in your brain and you're not just gonna forget about it. So yeah, make sure when you go through the first section, you get a good understanding of how all the HTML code works. The, f uh, the A big thing that I struggled with as well was actually when you're having different web pages, every web page is coded on a different page. And the book will go through this and explain to you how folders are organized. But it's things like this that you really need to grab a solid understanding of to then understand how the programming language or, or the browser takes the code that you've written and puts it onto the website. And the last tip that I've been given by my brother, by other developers that I know, and people that are just talking to me about it is Google is your friend. Half the time you do not know code or know what you need to do, just Google your problem and there'll be a forum, there'll be a website, a blog that'll explain your problem and you can work through it. There's, it's gonna be frustrating times when you can't get something to work, but when it does work, it really pays off. And actually it's a really addicting process to try and think of a project or just moving a certain item in a web page and seeing it come alive. So be persistent, patient, and Google is your friend. So just before I sort of finish everything up, I wanna talk about some tools that I wanna to recommend to you that have made my coding experience a whole lot easier. And also other tools which are really good for prototyping and early stage development for your startup. So if you're building an app or a website, um, tools that you can use for that to get a visual feel and you could take to investors or something like that um, to help you along. For when you're coding, you can use the normal text editor that's on your laptop, on your Mac or PC, um, just notepad or uh, notes on Mac. You can write it in that and that's absolutely fine. But I would really, really, really recommend getting Sublime Text Editor or some other uh, coding text editor. And what it does, it just saves a lot of time from uh, copying out arduous, re repeatable bits of code. So for example, let's say you're using, uh, there's an element called the div element you use open bracket, press D, and then the rest of the word will pop up. So it saves you a lot of time, especially when you're spending hours learning how to code and to change things around. And it basically allows you to see the entirety of your website, all your files that you have, and a lot easier. Now, the other bit of software that I'm gonna recommend you use, and this is for design, is Sketch. And I'm gonna show some images of Sketch now, um, as you can hear me talking over this. Uh, Sketch is a design software for rapid prototyping, uh, for apps, websites, whatever you name it, you need it for your startup. If you're, if you're, if you haven't got a site live yet and you kind of want a vision for how it looks, um, you can design really simple, beautiful websites in it. And what you can do here as well is export each individual item into images or different texts, and then you can put that into your code later on. And if you're taking it to investors, then it's perfect to have that, um, that vision there. So yeah, as you can see on screen now, this is a website that I have built. Uh, I spent all of yesterday coding this and believe me, it took me so long just to, for simple things like aligning the text, changing the font. Um, I had to make all the images in Photoshop. That's another bit of software that I'd recommend, Photoshop. Really good for creating logos and buttons and things like that. So yeah, this is the homepage of a website that I uh, designed. I designed it in Sketch, which you uh, saw earlier, and I decided to try and replicate that in my code. So having that, the Sketch and the design there already in, uh, in view was really helpful because then I could visualize it. And when I was coding, I had something to work against. Um, so this is the first website and I've got only two sections at the moment, which is the navigation bar. Uh, I've got the home logo, the login button for like, if it was a, a profile that you had to sign in on that website. And then I've got the main sort of wrapper, big image, the, the big title. Um, obviously this is a placeholder at the moment, but I am working on a project that I'll speak about later on um, as I'm going through more things. But yeah, this is the sort of thing that I've started to be able to build having come off the back of this web development book with no other technical experience. 
that's the end of the video. I know I haven't dived uh, that deep into the content of the book or specifically how to do web development, but really it's not something that you can achieve in one video. Now you can watch videos, do online courses, take whatever you need to learn this language. But for me, having this book was really good. It allowed me to be not distracted. I could take my time with it. And it's a really simple step-by-step -step process. And it also has a supportive uh, website that goes along with it. So you can download all the code and copy it over and experiment with yourself. But yeah, let me know of what you think for this series. And if uh, you want more other videos, um, I'm thinking of doing a book review for The Way of the Wolf, which is the, the art of persuasion and selling, um, written by the Wolf of Wall Street. And let me know if you want me to, to show you that. And I actually have a live sales, sales call that I've done. Um, and if you want to see that, uh, just comment below and I'll probably release that footage. Um, but if you don't, I'm still going to be releasing a lot more uh, videos. There are going to be more podcasts, book reviews, and yeah. But yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you can uh, learn some HTML and CSS soon and I look forward to seeing your site. So I will see you later.